Welcome to Cutscene Tutorial 3. In this uh, video, we're going to learn how to add uh, animations to an, uh, a creature you've added to the cutscene, uh, blend the animations, and we're going to look at how to add dialogue to your character as well. So we're starting off basically where we left off in uh, Cutscene Tutorial 2. Ignore the fact he's sat down at the moment, uh, it's just because I've uh, been playing around with the animations. So we'll learn how to add an animation now. So on the left here, where it says uh, the lower guard, which is that guy, we we'll right click, add a track. And uh, if we right click on that track again, then we add an action, which is play animation. And we just scroll the animation along actually, because we don't, don't want it to interfere with our cameras at the moment. So there he is, at the moment. Okay, he hasn't got an animation set. So you uh, click on that, and on the right here, in the object inspector, if you click on those three dots, and uh, there's a whole list of animations. On the Wikipedia, there's uh, descriptions of each of these animations, because you can't really tell by the name. But anyway, I'll just sort of pick one for now. That's a sitting down pose. He's sat down, look, I can't see him anymore. There he is. He looks drunk or something. Anyway, so that animation's there. And if we play it, he's asleep. Yeah, he's like all in about. And then it stops. So just say we want him to stand up after that, after he's led down. Um, we we'll right click again, add another track. Um, yep, add another uh, action, which is play animation, and we'll add another animation. And this time we'll pick one where he stood up. So salute. So if we watch what happens, he's asleep, then he gets up and salutes. But it doesn't look very natural because he's just jumped up. I mean, I wouldn't, you wouldn't get that in a cutscene, it'd look weird. So we want to blend these animations together. So to do that we select them, right click, add transition. And transition type, we'll click to ease in and out. I think that's the smoothest. And we'll watch it again, see what happens. Not very smooth, is it? Even though you've added a transition. To fix this, move move the animations so they overlap. This gives more time for the animation to blend together. Ideally it's still not as smooth as it could be because some animations don't fit together very well, so you need to try and find ones that uh, you think work well. Um, so that's how you blend animations. Um, I'll show you how to add some dialogue now. So I right click again, add another track like we did before, and this time we're going to add a speak line. And on the right here, we add the source conversation, and I'll open the tutorial conversation, which is one I made earlier. And then you click the source line, which is a line in the tutorial. So here's speaker line now with face effects and uh, place over voices. There we go, look. As he's performing that animation as well. Um, I released a video detailing how to do face effects and the voiceovers soon. I've been a bit busy with the cutscene at the moment. But if you want to quickly know how to do it, just create dialogue like normal. It's quite simple to do. Um, just look on the Wikipedia and follow the instructions there. And um, if you go to Tools, I believe, make sure you save your conversation first before you do this. Then click on Tools, add voiceover, and um, that creates like a placeholder voiceover. And then once that's done, you can add, go on Tools again, add face effects, and that create the lip sync and stuff. So that's all done. Um, Cutscene tutorial four will be on the way soon, uh, and that will involve your character walking. Because I still haven't got that straightened out yet. It's a whole different kettle of fish than uh, animations because the character is actually moving across the level. So once I get that sorted, I'll be sure to post that up. Um, yeah. So thanks for subscribing. Check out my website on dragongaming.co.uk. That's just just up there. There's uh, some new blogs and stuff on the Dragon Age tool set. And um, yeah, so that's Dragon Age. No, sorry, dragongaming.co.uk. So be sure to check that out. It's in the description as well. And um, I hope this tutorial was useful. Stay tuned for some more. And uh, leave some comments and feedback below. Cheers.